Canadians will welcome you and your money when the Winter Olympics begin in February, but trying to take something else across the border could land you in jail. Cairo 7 consumer investigator Amy Clancy has the warning. Gerald Burke of Tacoma is facing an uncertain future. The charge that, they're, that, uh, that the Crown is after, that I do three years in prison. The Tacoma business owner could be jailed for what he calls a simple mistake, but what the Canadian government calls a serious criminal offense. Burke remembers the day this past February when he was arrested while crossing into British Columbia at the Peace Arch. Mr. Burke, put your hands behind your back. You are under arrest for smuggling a gun into Canada. Burke's loaded semi-automatic 9mm handgun was discovered by Canada Border Services agents in the center console of his SUV. Burke is licensed to carry a concealed weapon in the States, but Canadian laws dictate all firearms must be declared at the border, and handguns are strictly prohibited. So did you know that it was in your vehicle at the time? I did not. Did you just forget? I just forgot. The CBSA declined Cairo 7's request for an interview, but the agency's investigation reveals Burke seemed nervous at the border crossing and had a hard time answering questions. Once the weapon was found, Burke was handcuffed and put in a cell. This is my corrections card. He spent eight days in jail before being allowed bail. His wife of 26 years says she couldn't even speak with him for five days. The last thing we heard when we were up there was the prosecutor say that she wouldn't be happy without a year in prison for him. Burke is now charged with five criminal counts including gun smuggling, lying to border guards and possessing 85 rounds of ammunition quote for a purpose dangerous to the public peace or for the purpose of committing an offense. If you have a gun in this country, it's considered to be a very serious matter. Peter Ritchie is Burke's Vancouver-based attorney. He says most Americans, including gun owners, have no idea how different U.S. and Canadian gun laws are. If you come to Canada, it's a whole different ballgame here. And you face one year minimum in jail, even though you may be the sweetest citizen that walked the earth. That's what you're looking at here. Burke has no criminal history, is a longtime church missionary and married father of three. After he was arrested, dozens of Burke's friends and family members wrote to the B.C. court asking for leniency. But Canadian gun laws are very strictly enforced. In 2008 alone, 191 firearms were seized from people crossing into B.C. and the Yukon. This past July, a Bremerton-based Navy sailor was sentenced to a year in jail after pleading guilty to gun smuggling. And a B.C. lawyer tells Cairo 7 consumer investigators he represents about three Americans per year arrested for carrying handguns into Canada. Nobody's going to warn you in advance. Uh, I don't think there are billboards on the highway saying, hey, don't forget you got your gun in your car or you're looking at a year in jail in, in this country. And While Burke awaits trial, he's warning others, especially before the Winter Olympics. If for no other reason than to prevent one fellow American from going through the same thing that I have gone through, that would be reason enough to, talk, to contact you. When we crossed the border to work on the story, we looked for any signs warning Americans not to bring weapons. There are signs that tell you to keep right, watch for pedestrians and bicycles, and to think metric. But the only sign we saw warning against handguns is right under the Canadian border guard's window. Much too late to turn around. I'm consumer investigator Amy Clancy, Cairo 7 Eyewitness News. Gerald Burke's attorney does not expect his trial to get underway until at least next fall. At CairoTV.com, we add information about Canadian gun laws, including how to legally bring in hunting weapons.